hello everyone hope you are all doing good uh, so in today's video i will show you how to create uh, a .NET 7 web api using visual studio 2022 the prerequisite for this is uh, visual studio 2022 which you can download from microsoft's website uh, the community edition is free uh, i have a video on that i will provide the link in the description box so you can watch that video uh, on how to download uh, this tool okay so once you have this visual studio 2022 installed on your system open it so this will how it will look when you open it and then click on create a new project so in this uh, page uh, you will see all these templates installed uh, what you can do is uh, now here you can see i have filtered uh, on c sharp so you can do that it's filter on c sharp because our tutorial is based on c sharp language uh, and this you can leave as it is here search for web api okay so now this will come up on the top web api so this is the core dotnet core web api okay uh, not this one or, or anything else okay so this click on this and then next button so in this page let's give a name uh, to this uh, project uh, so this uh, we can say student reg api so that will be the name of my project and then click on next here uh, we want .NET 7 uh, as this video is for .NET uh, so this video will use dotnet 7.0 so that's why i'm selecting dotnet 7.0 here okay leave it rest of the things as it is uh, click on create now student res api has been created uh so by default you can see uh, api is there which is called as weather forecast it is uh, there but uh, uh, let's uh, ignore it uh, because we'll be creating a new api so the next step uh, for you is to uh, create some model classes so first is uh, here right click and add folder name it as models now add a class so right click and then add a class and then name this class as student so this is your uh, student class let's add some uh, properties to this class so public long ig so get set uh, and you can use the tab right so for example now i can hit the tab and then automatically uh, this line is written uh, so there is the intelligence which works here so id name and let's have one more thing which is uh, called as age and each return type int okay uh i think that's enough okay so we have now three properties uh in the model class uh the next step is to add a, a database context so here uh for database i will use the in memory database uh so uh microsoft provides uh that facility so for that you need to use a nuget package so right click on your project manage nuget packages go to browse and then search in memory so you can see on top this is coming up okay in memory now click on install click uh, i accept and now this is uh, installed okay so you can verify it by going uh, to this uh, uh, folder here solutions and then uh, dependencies uh, packages you can you should see this one okay so now it is installed so close this now you have to register uh, uh, register this uh, database so for that go to program.cs uh, here uh, below this add dot controllers you need to add a line so builder builder dot services dot add db context so let's give this name as student uh, context it will throw you error right now because you have not created the student context yet 
uh, but that's okay uh, and here x in memory database uh, give a name to the database So let's create the student context class. So for that, go back again to models, right click and class. Here, name it a student context, add. So now student context uh, class uh, has been added. So let's inherit this from db context now we need to add a constructor to add a constructor actually you can say ctor tab and by default it will add a constructor so you add a constructor like this but here we need some some parameter so which is db context options basically so db context options and then this one and here within this angular brackets we need to have the student context object and then uh, name it anything like, but and say offsets okay base options so do it like this so now our uh, constructor is ready uh, need to have a method uh, so public uh, db set db set So get set actually. Uh, yeah. So here we can say, yeah, so student object. And then uh, this is your, so this is your code. Uh, now what we need to do is here add a using. okay so add this using reference here so uh this is all done program is program.cs is done student context object has been uh, created so the next uh, step is to add a controller class uh, which will basically which will be your api and when you call that api so it will store and retrieve data using this uh, db context okay so right click uh, add and uh, before you do that actually it is better to close all this because sometimes you will get error when uh, using the scaffolding so close everything save close and then do the scaffolding so right click this add and add a new scaffolded item all right here select this one api controller uh, controller with accents using entity framework Click on add here uh, so select this models model class is this one db context class is the student context okay which we just created so this one so rest as it is click on add so now uh, you can see it has added uh, all the code uh, so this is this is what uh, Visual Studio does so when you use scaffolding, so it will automatically add all this code. Uh, so this code will help you to get uh, post, put, delete. Okay, so all this uh, is available here. So you can see get student, delete student, post, put, all these things are there. The next step is uh, you can run it. So uh, it is running. So now this is running through uh, Swagger. So Swagger helps. Uh, in executing the api methods and also it provides some documentation like this okay so if you want to see the structure you can see uh, and plus uh, it will also help you to uh, run few things so uh, run these things okay so 
what you can do is like, for example we don't have any data right now so if i run this it will be basically uh nothing will come up okay because there is no data so you can see response body is blank right so let's go back and uh, add certain some data so click on post and here write out and you can see the structure here so this is the json structure uh, so what we can do is we can add some items uh, here so for example john age uh, 12 okay id1 and execute so now uh, so 201 so it is success so it has been created all right so you can use this link and you can go and open it here and then see if you are getting the results back so so this is one way to verify another way to verify is you can go to obviously get and then you can also check here so go to get execute and you can see uh john has been created because this is what the what the api is returning us so post so let's add a few other items like two and uh Mary is 13. Execute. So success. Uh, one more item. Lee. Uh, Ashok is 15. Execute. So three items uh, created. So what we will do is now. We will see uh, whether the uh, get also is showing us all the three items or not so api students so just execute this you can see we are getting all the three items back right so now let's go back and uh, do an update here so put try it out so id is three i want to update uh, id three so you can do it here like this so name is name it will be let's say usha and is is 11 execute so so it is a success okay uh now what we can do is again go back to get to see if that that is what is coming back so now you can see one two three three now usha okay uh let's now delete something so click on delete write out here let's delete the third item okay execute so it's a success go back to get execute and you now see only two items so that is how you uh, test it using swagger you can uh, also uh do it using postman so now let's go to postman and uh do this okay so the url is this so let's copy this and go back to postman enter it here click on send so now you can see john is coming back to you will see mary is coming back similarly if you see say three so uh you should not get anything back because you deleted the third item okay so if you need to see all the all the things uh, uh, all the data that is available so just remove that id uh, parameter in the towards the end so just uh, use this this much and then click on send and you can see all these records are coming up so now let's uh, go and do some post operation so when you select post here go to body and here uh, you can copy this uh, structure from here so click on post and you can copy this come back to postman paste it here and let's say uh, give some give some name like this and uh, if you remove this id it will add a default one so you can remove the id as well and then say send uh, so it has now added it at id3 you can then select one more
so now you add one more uh, not select sorry uh, add one more so now uh, one more has been added uh, let's add one more okay so now these items has been added so let's go back to get and see if the item says is uh, is it sending these things so you can see here uh, two three four five so five items are there now okay uh, let's go and update uh, the id one to something else so to update it go to put uh, let's now update this uh, this first record and uh, what i want here is a, a different name uh, so let's say this is my name and then h10 so let's send it so it is saying method not allowed because i have to add one here okay so now so this is the url so this is the id which needs to be updated and this is my json structure so click on send and now 204 which is a success so go back to get and here i want everything so send and now you can see the age the first record has been updated with the different name and age so that is how you do a put so now you have seen get uh, put uh, post so if you need a specific records uh, record then let's say three then click on send and you can see the third record is coming back from the api uh, similarly you can go back and uh, delete something so let's say i want to delete uh, the, the first record and then click on send the first record has been deleted now so go back to get and say now it should get a error so which is not found because there is no record first record now let's remove this one and again click on send you can see it is starting from two right so first record is deleted so that is how you do it if you want to add a first record again then go back to post and here add this okay so so click on previn send and this should add it so let's go and do a get so now you can see that previn has been added uh, so that is how you play around with the api operations uh, so i have created a basic api so you just do all these things to play around and understand it more uh, in next uh, few videos perhaps i will do some more advanced uh, things uh, but this is uh, for the bigness so hopefully uh, uh, you have uh, got some knowledge from today's session so all the best to you uh, thanks everybody